Welcome to Vela. In this video, we'll introduce you to Variations Profiles, one of the more powerful and widely used features within Vela that allows you to define and then apply variations and their accompanying details at the profile level and in bulk. In cases where you sell many products with the same list of variants, a Variations Profile allows you to create a templated, repeatable approach to save time and effort. Whether you're creating a new listing from scratch or updating an existing one. In this video, we'll show you how to create a new variations profile in a client, how to make individual edits to listings defined by a variations profile, how to create a variations profile from an existing listing, how to maintain SKUs in the process, as well as how to copy and delete profiles. It might sound like a lot, but as we show you, it will all make sense. You'll find variations profiles under profiles in your leftmost menu where we'll see variations below as an option. Within the view, we'll see all of the different variations profiles we've already created, as well as which listings are already connected to them and defined by them. So let's get started. To begin, let's show you how to create a new variations profile. On the top of the screen, we'll see create profile as an option, which we'll begin our workflow. We'll begin by giving this new profile a name. In this case, we'll make it for some of our Pillows products. Next, we'll add the variations. The first category of variation will be size, where we'll add small, medium, and large as options. The next variation level that we'll add will be material, Note that we can add up to three different levels of variation as dictated by Shopify's limitations. In this case, we'll only add two to keep things minimally complex. You'll note as we build out the profile that we can define many other attributes, including price, compare price, or cost. Just to demonstrate on a basic level, we'll update the price so it's included and just make the price the same for all of those variations. Once we're happy with that, we'll save, and we've now successfully created a new variations profile. Next, we might want to connect some listings. The first and easiest way to do that is simply clicking connect listings on the profile itself, where we'll search for our pillows collection, and then select which listings we want to apply. Note that we could select all, but in this case, we'll just do four to keep things easy. We'll notice these changes are applied and then synced that we'll now see that these pillows are connected to this profile. And if we want to validate that those changes have been made, we'll copy the title of that listing, we'll search for it, and then clicking through in the editor and going to variations, we'll see that those variations that we built into the profile have now been successfully applied. Note that we can still make individual edits wherever we want. These won't update the profile itself, just the listing that we're making those updates to. Note that if we were to update the listing profile, it would then override any of those individual changes. So that would be a case where we'd want to remove this listing from the profile to make sure we don't change anything. But that's how you make individual edits. The next detail of variations profiles that we'll show you is how to create a variations profile from the details of an existing listing. So in this case, we'll find one of our wall clocks that has attributes we want to repeat across other similar products. Clicking through to variations, we'll see that the variations and other details are things we'd like to repeat. And on the far right, we'll see the option to create a profile based off of these details. Clicking on this button, we'll see we get the option to name and create our new profile. And then we'll see that we've created a new profile based off of this listing. So let's navigate back to Variations Profiles, where we'll now see this new Decorative Clocks profile based off of that listing. As an important detail, we'll see that when we create this new Variations Profile, that it also brings along the individual SKUs from that listing. If we want to retain SKUs when we apply this to others, we'll want to make sure to clear or delete all of them before applying this to anything. 
Let's also make an additional edit to this, where we're going to delete one of the variations and replace it with something new. Next, we're going to then apply this profile to a set of wall clocks within our shop. And we'll demonstrate that by leaving those SKUs blank at the profile level, we can then apply it to listings that have SKUs already and retain those SKUs through the process. So taking a look, we'll go to some of our clocks where we'll select, which is also the same process to bulk edit and bulk apply these profiles. We'll take a look at inventory and then click through to SKUs where we'll see that these products have individual SKUs for many of the existing variants. Going to variations, we'll now apply this new profile we've created, keeping in mind that we left those SKUs blank. We'll apply this profile, then we'll sync the updates, and we'll see that what we've done is added these new options, updated the listings, yet with the blank SKUs on the profile, have retained those original SKUs. So that's how you retain SKUs while updating or applying a new profile. It is a critical note that when you apply a variations profile, it will overwrite the existing data. The next thing we'll show you is an easy way to create new variations profiles, which is simply by copying an existing one, where you can copy either within your existing shop or any of your other connected ones. To keep life easy, we'll copy within our shop where we'll see that we can once again make updates and edits. So I'll rename this one and then we'll save it. And we'll see we have the option to either update or to create another copy simultaneously. After we've done that, we'll still be free to make edits to that variations profile. So in this case, perhaps we'll add a new material as well as a new size. Note that when we make edits to variations profiles with connected listings, when we sync everything, those updates will be reflected on those listings. Lastly, to organize and manage our workspace, we can always feel free to delete a variations profile that we're no longer using. Note that deleting the profile won't delete the listings connected to it, just the profile itself. So there you have it. That's how to create, edit, manage, and apply variations profiles within Bella. Thanks for joining.